Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. Today in this video, we are going to see about types of stars. A star is an astronomical stationary object which is in billions in count, which lights up the universe since its birth to death. A star is born inside a cloud of dust and gas. The gas such as helium and hydrogen are attracted to each other and it is fused. This creates a lot of light and even it increases the gravitational force which pulls together all dust and gas and joins in a large explosion. The closest star to Earth is our Sun. Other than it, Barnett's star is the closest star to Earth. A brown dwarf is a star that don't have much energy to fuse hydrogen to helium, so they don't ignite their core and mantle. So their energy can only be seen from a shorter distance like 100 to 200 km. Because in some words, we can say that they are failed stars. They can only burn their fuel extremely for about 100,000 years. Red dwarfs might have 100 times the mass of Jupiter. It's a type of star that shrink at the end of its life. They shrink to a white dwarf and then become a black dwarf. The red dwarfs are most abundant type of stars in the universe because they are many in counts. These kind of stars may last up to 10 trillion years. It's about 1000 times the current age of the universe. The closest red dwarf to Earth is the Barnett star. Main sequence stars are stars that grow to larger size when it dies. When a new star is born, it is called as a protostar. And when its core becomes hot and dense enough to fuse hydrogen to helium, they ignite and burn their fuel extremely. This produces tremendous amount of light. Example for main sequence star is our sun. Main sequence stars always grow larger when they are about to die. Even our sun would do this when it's about to die. At this point, Mercury, Venus, Earth and Mars would be inside sun and be vaporized. This stage of a star would be 1000 times the diameter of Jupiter. Its lifespan would be 10 to 50 billion years. And its brightness is 100 to 350 times than of a red dwarf. Red giants are the third phase of a main sequence star. These phases only last for a fraction of the main sequence star's life. These stars can grow up to 100 times their current size of it. For example, the sun would grow to a giant phase 100 times of its current size. The brightness of it would be 100 times of the current sun. A star known at its red giant phase is R136A1 star. Blue hypergiants are giant stars like crystal star. Its size would be 180 to 300 times the size of the sun and 25 to 150 times the mass of the sun. Crystal star is the brightest star that can be seen with our eyes even if it's many light years far away. Their surface temperatures are 50,000 degrees Celsius and because of the extreme temperatures, brightness would be 300 times of the sun. These stars only live few million years because they burn their fuel in a large amount. Yellow hypergiants are a giant stars like Rho Cassiopeia. Its size would be 1300 times of the sun and 20 to 60 times the mass of the sun. Rho Cassiopeia is very very brighter that can be seen with our eyes without any strain even if it's many light years far away. Its color in the sky would be in red or white. The surface temperatures are 54,044 degrees Celsius and because of the extreme temperature its brightness would be 1 billion times of the sun. These stars only live few million years because they burn their fuel in a large amount. Hope you got some information from this video and please like, share and subscribe to this channel. See you in the next video. Thank you.